we're building that pipeline. And, uh, you know, uh, we love it. I love it. So, uh, you know, we're um, now uh, really, you know, three, three accounts in the, in the first, you know, four and a half months. I'd say that's a real good start. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, uh, we have, uh, we really believe in it. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I really believe in it. I believe in the, in, in the, there's real value in what we do. And so it's, you know, it's translating over and, uh, you know, uh, I, I couldn't be more excited about it. That is fantastic. I love to hear that, Dave. Yeah, we're going to, uh, we're going to, we're going to, I think, uh, have a lot of uh, success and a lot of fun at the same time. And, you know, that's, that's what people want to hear. They, they, everybody's scared when they first, you know, look into this business and uh, they want to know that it's real. Uh, you come across as very real. And so I think that uh, we should have some good participation today. Yeah, and I think the the thing that I need to, I, I guess I have two things that I I really want to communicate. Number one, this is an awesome business. I guess maybe three things. Uh, number two, uh, the tools that ABS gives you are phenomenal. And number three, you're going to have to be committed to it. I mean, if it's uh, anybody that thinks it's just sit back, kick your feet up, and watch the money roll in without doing anything that's not uh, true either. So, you know, just, you know, trying to get them to, Hey, you know, you gotta, you gotta follow the system and you gotta be committed to it. That That's really all there is to it, isn't it? It just, just, if you can follow a system, some people don't, don't like following the system. They like to think that they know, you know, what's best. And so they'll, they'll try their own thing. And then a few months later, they'll come back to us and say, Hey, what's happening here? What, why am I not getting a client? Yeah. And then we start asking them questions as to whether they followed our system and they go, Oh no, I didn't try that. I didn't think that would work. And yeah, then they'll yeah, go and no. try it. Yeah. The way I, I, I think about it is this way. Um, if you're going to, you know, ABS, the whole ABS thing is like someone who wants to build a house and ABS supplies the every tool, uh, the delay, you, you provide like the deluxe toolbox and even provide a few, you know, um, architectural designs for different kinds of houses, uh, but you still got to go out and build the house. <laughs> They're not going to build it for you. You're not going to sit in the lazy chair while they uh, do all the work. So, you know, that's how I, uh, I really see it. Yeah, and some people want uh, something that's more, um, oh, I guess, uh, step by step, uh, here's what you do next. But, you know, that's the difference between us and a franchise. We don't force you to do anything. You, you know, it's your business, so you can take well, it in I any direction you want I think what people really to. want is somebody to just hand them a book of business. <laughs> they don't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. That's really all they want. I've told people, yeah. look. We could probably come up with a way of finding clients for you, but it wouldn't be twenty uh, twenty eight thousand dollars. It'd be a uh, hundred thousand, you know, maybe or more. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know what I mean? And and even that isn't a you know. And I don't know how anybody would do that. Um, well, know, that's just if, if, if we can guarantee anybody, uh, you know, customers, clients, uh, you know, revenue. It's still a matter of uh, having to go out and and do it. But I, I you know, I. I can tell you, I, you know, been in business long enough to know that, you know, the, the, the tools and resources uh, that ABS provides are phenomenal. And, you know, that's uh, why I say it's like uh, going into Home Depot and you, you, you've supplied the, the deluxe toolbox, <laughs> every tool that you would ever need and, and tools you'll, you don't even need but they're all there. Yeah. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's uh, hopefully a message that will resonate with some people and, 
and um, would be helpful to, to you and to ABS as well. Yeah, I think that is something that uh, coming from, you know, someone like yourself who's actually been through the training and, uh, you know, now you're out there in the actual field doing the business, you know better than anybody, you know, what, what's, uh, what's really happening there. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we, we've now completed the full, the full cycle from, you know, uh, just getting started to, you know, now we got revenue coming in. Right. That makes a big difference, doesn't it? It makes it feel like, oh, oh, so this is a real business. I see. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you, you sort of, uh, it's, it's sort of been phases, right? You know, it feels real when you're, you, <clears throat> you know, incorporate and you're out there and then, you know, you're doing it and then it feels real when you finally, uh, you know, uh, sign a client and then it feels, uh, you know, it's a kind of that full circle. Then when, then it's really come full circle when you're able to, you know, start handling the claims and, you know, you're generating, you know, revenue for your own business. Uh, but it, it goes in steps, right? Yeah. Hey, Dave, I'm going to kick this off. Why don't you turn off your webcam? Can you just click that stop the webcam video just for a second? Now, your mic will still be on, of course, but uh, I'll just uh, uh, introduce. Uh, yeah, there you go. I'm going to introduce uh, the whole thing and kick it off. And uh, and then you'll hear me uh, welcome you. Okay. And you can turn it, turn it back on at that point. Okay. Great. All right, folks. I think we're uh, getting started here. And I see people uh, coming into the webinar room right now. So... Let me welcome you. My name is Patrick Phillips. Uh, we're going to get started here with our live webinar today, uh, interviewing one of our existing business owners, uh, what we refer to them as licensees because they've licensed our system. Uh, but you'll see that uh, Dave Parsons is one of those people who just took it and ran with it and uh, is up and running and uh, doing great. I see uh, people coming in. Law, hello, uh, trivia. Thank you for showing up today. And uh, by the way, anybody else who comes in that I don't rec recognize your name, uh, just please type something if you want to in the Q&A box. I'll actually be watching that Q&A box during the whole webinar and we'll be answering live uh, questions during it. So I do see uh, Robert in here today and Jayanta, Jayanta, David is in here, David F., so uh, thank you guys for showing up today. Let me get started here by asking you to uh, type your questions into the Q&A panel anytime. Just look at the bottom of your Zoom window. There should be a little icon down there that has Q&A. And uh, when you tap that, it'll open up a box that lets you type in anything you want to. And I'll see it right here on my screen. So it'll be a live. You can use that for feedback. You can say hi. You can tell me uh, my hair is out of place. I need to comb it or anything else that you see wrong as we go through this. By the way, for some reason today, my webinar webcam is not working, but our guest, his webcam is working. So when we introduce him here in a second, you'll see him. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Patrick Phillips. I'm the founder of American Business Systems. Uh, my wife and I started this about 28 years ago. Yeah, she was doing medical billing right here out of our home in Fort Worth for some doctors in this area. And we got to go in and doing so well that people started asking us, how we were making such a good living, just working out of our, uh, you know, house and uh, living in our uh, pajamas most of the time. <laughs> and so uh, we decided there must be a market for teaching other people. So that's what I did. I developed an entire training system, all the marketing ideas, everything that we needed to do to uh, get going. Um, and so we've been doing that now for 28 years. We are the nation's largest network of independent medical billing companies in the United States. I'm an author. You can go check me out on amazon.com or any bookstore. You'll find my books that you see here pictured, How to Reprogram Yourself for Success, The New Thriving Medical Practice, and Cash Crunch to Cash Flow. We also use those as marketing tools. And I'm sure our guest today will mention uh, how he's used those tools as well. Uh, I'm also a member of the editorial board of the Billing and Coding Advantage magazine. It's a print magazine with over 40,000 subscribers. And anybody who's anybody in the billing and coding industry subscribes to it. And you'll see some of my articles in there on a regular basis. Once you've been trained by our company, you are certified as a certified medical revenue manager. 
And that's through an organization called MRMA, M-R-M-A-A dot org. And you can go check them out on the web as well. Ours is a cloud-based system, which means that you can work from any computer anywhere in the world. Doesn't matter what the operating system is or what type of computer is, Windows, Macs, Chromebooks, uh, anything that uh, connects to the internet because it is a cloud-based system. So just like you do your banking online with your bank, you can also do medical billing for doctors using our cloud-based uh, billing system. And we have an electronic medical record system for the doctors as well. We were just named out of thousands of franchises in the United States and the top 100 game changers for 2021 by Franchise Dictionary Magazine. You can go check them out at franchisedictionarymagazine.com. And in addition to the billing, you can also provide other services to the doctor that we've come up with. These are all optional, but they're great ways of opening the door and offering other services to the doctor that you can not only make money on, but you can help the doctor with other aspects of their revenue. So uh, ask your ABS rep about those if you're not familiar with those. On our main website, absystems.com, up in the upper right-hand corner, you can ask for a virtual brochure. This is a brochure that's basically virtual. It's online, but it has much, much more information than we reveal on our standard website. This is for people who are you know, seriously interested in looking into the business. You'll have to fill out a little form that looks like this, and then you'll have instant access to that virtual brochure. So be sure and look for that as well. This is the Medical Revenue Management Association of America uh, website, and you're welcome to go check that out anytime you'd like to see more about the organization that actually certifies you. I'm going to remind you once again that you can type your questions into the question box. And, oh, here's somebody saying that they are not seeing anything. Hmm. Well, that's very interesting that I've been doing all this without sharing. So let me just start sharing there. Thank you, the trivia. I appreciate you pointing that out to me. Well, you guys missed all the best slides that I have today. And they're all right here in uh, this uh, little box. Let me see if I can go forward or backward here. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, there's, uh, there's some of the stuff that I just talked about. So if you missed some of that, uh, I'm just showing it here so that when you watch the replay, you can go back and look at this. Or you can ask for the download of all these slides uh, here uh, at the end of the webinar. Just ask your ABS rep for you want a copy of all the slides that are here. Okay, I'm going to ask our guest to uh, step in here now. Dave Parsons, are you still there behind the scenes? I am. Look, hey, there he afternoon. is live. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> and he's live, as you can see. He's in his, uh, well, it looks like a, maybe a home office. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm at my home here, uh, actually, uh, just northeast of uh, Seattle. Northeast of Seattle. So it's a little cooler up there than probably it is in here in Texas. Yes, uh, you know, and you're probably getting some sun, which I am not. Uh, <laughs> you know, yes, we uh, do have some sun here. Yeah, well, I don't want to hear about the sun. <laughs> All right, well, Dave, I'm gonna just put our pictures up on the screen there as well as your webcam because uh, for some reason my webcam doesn't work today, but they know what I look like because they've seen all my other webinars, I guess. And I do see uh, a lot of questions that are popping in the Q&A here already. Uh, let's see, can you please post the form? We're unable to see it. Okay, uh, now we see NASA says, Nasia, Nasia, good. All right, well, Dave, I'm gonna start by just asking you to give us a little feel for your background. What, what, what were you doing before you got into this business? And, uh, you know, just tell us the story of how you found us and why you got involved. Yeah, happy uh, to do that. And again, I'm, uh, let me just start uh, by saying thank you uh, to you, uh, Patrick, and, and to the many people that I've run into so far at ABS. Uh, you've been uh, extremely helpful, uh, very gracious uh, to work with. And so it's a, it's a privilege and hopefully uh, I can be of help to some of those that are thinking about, uh, you know, jumping on, on board and being part of ABS and doing this. And uh, I think the, uh, the most uh, um, significant thing that I can say about me uh, is uh, I'm very unremarkable. <laughs> so uh, the, uh, the, the, this, this should be an encouragement to anyone 
who's wondering if they can do it. If uh, Dave Parsons can do it, um, anybody can do it. Uh, because there's nothing uh, particularly special uh, about me or even, you know, my background that would have made me, you know, <clears throat> skilled at uh, medical billing. Uh, the honest truth is, um, you know, I came out of an industry that was completely different. Uh, it was a healthcare, but it was had nothing to do with, with uh, medical billing or any of uh, the nuances uh, to do with, you know, revenue cycle management. So revenue cycle management was brand new to me, <clears throat> but I was very interested in this because uh, I do have, um, I, I would say a real passion for, you know, physicians. Uh, my wife is an RN, um, close friend, one of my closest friends, uh, Went to medical school, so I had a great appreciation for for healthcare in general. And um, I, for me, it, it checked the boxes of uh, I liked that it was medical. Uh, I liked that it was not so much transactional selling; it was uh, relational selling. It was long term. So I I wanted to be. Um, in an industry where developing long-term relationships and trust was, was a part of it. I also uh, was attracted to it for uh, uh, what I would say the stickiness of it. Uh, because once you're in, <clears throat> you're really in and um, it's ongoing, you know, long-term uh, revenue that believe me, it's not easy to just switch um, the billers or to go through all that process. So for me, it was about being in, in healthcare. Uh, it was about being in a business where it was um, relational and that it was um, sticky, that it would, it would have uh, long-term lasting, um, you know, value. The, the attrition rate is, uh, is really low. I mean, once you're in, you have to really, you know, screw it up to, to lose it. So, you know, like for me, that. all those things were, uh, you know, were really great. But here's the thing there is no way uh, I could have gotten into revenue cycle management without ABS. No way. And also, I liked it uh, that. Uh, you know, ABS was not your uh, traditional, um, you know, franchise uh, with a bunch of franchise fees and, you know, geographical restrictions and this and that. And, and so there's a, you know, part of me that is a, a little bit of a, of a, you know, cowboy and likes to be have that in independence. And so that was another thing that uh, just, you know, ABS checked all those uh, boxes for me. Yeah, I like that term sticky. Uh, <laughs> uh, if there's any industry that's uh, sticky, I would think it would be healthcare. Yeah, absolutely. That, uh, that's going to be around as long as there's human beings and human beings get sick and have to go to the doctor. Uh, the doctor has to get paid by somebody and somebody has to bill somebody to get that doctor paid. So <laughs> it's a good yeah, correct And, and you, to me, that's why it was, uh, you know, healthcare was attractive, but as you, you know, and I, I thought this uh, early on, but not having experienced it, but now having, you know, gone from knowing nothing about revenue cycle management, going through the training, you know, getting out there, working hard to find that first client, getting that first client going through the implementation process uh it's a it's a significant amount of 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 work which is a good thing because it's not again it, not only is healthcare sticky but once you're you know in and you've developed that relationship with that uh private practice you know it's not easy for them uh to just switch because there's all of the, you know, the practice management stuff, all of the EHR stuff. And so, 
you know, once you're in, you're, you know, you're, you're, uh, you're really stuck together. And to me, that's a, that's an awesome thing. Yeah, you want the doctor to stay with you. Uh, well, as long as they're alive, as long as they're in practice. And there's no reason why they shouldn't if you're doing a good job for them. If you do a bad right. job, word of mouth works just the opposite, right? It, uh, right? The word gets around real fast. Yeah, absolutely. So um, again, to me, that's um, as good as it gets. So, you know, it's it's been a really wonderful thing. I, I love it. I love what, what, what we're doing. Um, uh, I love, uh, you know, the challenge of it. And it's a great it is a great family business. Uh, that was, uh, maybe I would add that as another box, to, uh, to check off because, um, I'm involved. My family's involved. It's a, it's really an ideal scenario for, for family. It's, uh, scalable, you know, it's, uh, you know, again, that, that's another, the fact that you can do these things, uh, remote in today's environment is, that's more attractive than it's ever been, right? With all the COVID stuff and, you know, being, you know, not having to go to the office. You know, I can run it right from my home office, you know? Yeah. That's a, you know, that's a tremendous value in that. Uh, Dave, uh, kind of give us a feel for uh, the training. You went through our training, our virtual online training. Uh, how was that? And uh, was it everything you needed? Yeah, it was, it was excellent. That's how I would, uh, if I had one word, I would say it's uh, excellent. And it's as thorough as it could possibly be. With that being said, it would be impossible to learn everything through that training. And, you know, you got to, you kind of have to get in the boat and start rowing and and there's certain things that you're going to learn you know uh along the way and i'm still learning every day is uh you know a learning uh process for me and but as far as what could humanly be done through the training uh it was as good as is as any i've ever had and again for a look a simple guy like me who didn't know anything about revenue cycle management. Hey, you know, look, we're, uh, we're doing it. <laughs> we're just doing it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we're out there, we're, we're doing it and we've, uh, we've succeeded. Uh, we've, we've come all the way full circle to going through the training, getting out there, laying that first client, uh, kind of fumbling through how to figure out how, you know, what we're actually doing to, to where we're now, uh, you know, generating um, claims and generating revenue. And it's, it's, it's really fulfilling. Tell us about that whole experience of finding that first client, uh, Dave, uh, how did you do it? And uh, what type of client is it? Yeah. So our first client was an OBGYN practice that is a uh, husband and wife that honestly was um, pretty uh, dysfunctional. And it was um, uh, really through getting out and, and it was uh, a, a friend of a friend who um, said, hey, you know, I've got a, a close friend who has, an o, you know, an OB practice and he's pretty you know dysfunctional and having a hard time uh with their current biller and so you know we were able to step in and and it was the you know for for us uh the 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 right first client because um honestly uh <laughs> they were they were pretty dysfunctional and disorganized so basically anything we could do would be a uh, an improvement over what they had which was a great first client to have because um when you're going through that first time it's you know as much as they try to prepare you uh you know there's just a lot of new things and i would also um say this that while i've been 
absolutely thoroughly impressed with everybody at ABS. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, and I've been in the business world for well over 25 years and everybody that I've dealt with at ABS, they are some of the finest people I've ever uh, worked with and they will respond um, to you very quickly um, and very honestly and they, uh, they really do care. And I'm telling you the value of that, what I can say personally is, and, and you wonder about that, right? You're going to spend this big, pay this big fee, and, and then are they going to, you know, walk away from you, and, and you're going to be out on your own? That is not uh, the case. Uh, you know, I even had a situation where we ran into something we were confused on uh, with this OB practice, and uh, we emailed support and they were emailing us back on, on Christmas Eve, you know, so that's the kind of, you know, people, uh, they are. So I, I would say I've been absolutely uh, impressed with, um, ABS and I will, all, I will say maybe the thing that was, has been the most surprising is, what a fine uh, group of people at next gen healthcare so you have um abs and on one side of you and 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 next gen healthcare they are they are really uh exceptionally um knowledgeable and exceptionally helpful so it, it's um that has been, uh, you know, what I could not have, couldn't have, you know, wondered. I mean, uh, like probably like many of you, you're, you know, it's a, it's a significant amount of money, and you wonder, you know, hey, you know, what am I going to get, you know, in return for that? And um, you know, I can't, I can't tell you uh, enough how, how excellent in the the character of the people at ABS. And then you have, when you do get into it and you're really getting down into, hey, let's do the work. I'm telling you, Next Gen is, um, they're 10 out of 10. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the biggest and best healthcare uh, company out there technology-wise. They're leading edge, of course. And uh, we're just thrilled to be able to partner with them because, again, we have a a handful of people from coast to coast that are, you know, doing this business. I say a handful, it's probably closer to five or 600 people that are full time, mm -hmm. you know, running their business, doing it. So uh, next gen gives us a, a little bit of attention because again, we've got, you know, a lot of people that, that yeah. uh, have brought business to them. And uh, so this was an OG OBGYN. Now what, uh, can you give us a feel for this particular one? Are you kind of still implementation process with this one? Yeah, no, we're, uh, we're, we're, no, we're rolling. Uh, and we, uh, and by the way, we, um, uh, all, you know, assigned uh, uh, an e e e e ENT practice uh, as well. And then uh, just uh, this past week, we signed our third uh, client, which is a uh, neurology uh, practice. So that's three clients in the, you know, in the first four, four and a half months uh for us that's um, fantastic so but we're rolling on the on the uh, OBGYN um practice and you know it's um it's really a lot of fun I mean once you get in and, and you're you're working with them on a you know day in and day out basis it's uh it's really really fun and, and for me uh this is why it works uh, so well is uh, I have a, a family member, actually, uh, you know, one of my adult sons who's really uh, kind of a technical guy, uh, data, you know, likes that kind of thing. And so um, we're kind of a, uh, you know, Batman and Robin, uh, so to speak, where, you know, I'm not so good on the technical side, um, but I really enjoy uh, building relationships and I'm kind of driven by the sales side, but my son is much more uh, 
technical enjoys uh, that, you know, uh, for me, honestly, I don't know uh, if I had to sit and file claims all day, I'd probably lose my mind. Um, but yeah, me, you me know, uh, you need to, you need both. I would yeah. say that it's, um, I think to be uh, successful, uh, just to be completely honest and transparent with all of you who are thinking about this. Uh, so you, you know, uh, you, I, I, I can't tell you, you, you really, you have to be able to do both and both are difficult. Um, I would not want to sit here and say, Hey, you know, this is easy. Just kick back, put your feet up and watch the money roll in. Um, because, uh, it's not the case, but, um, if you really follow, you know, the ABS model, uh, you will get the results, but you do need, you need somebody out on the, to the front lines who is developing the sales side. And then you need somebody who's, um, you know, technical enough and has a sort of the right, um, disposition to handle the operations and claim side and i don't i don't see how one person could possibly do both or not do both uh very effectively maybe you know maybe if you had one just one account or something but if you wanted to grow your business you need to have both yeah and that, that's why we we have licensees uh business owners like yourself dave who focus on uh, just the the technical side, the, the the actual billing on the back end, uh, they don't want to do any of the marketing and they don't want to go out and find clients. And so we have other licensees who can be hired by those licensees to actually find clients. And then they split, yeah. you know, the profits on that particular client. So it can be worked either way. If you love sales and you love the marketing side, just find somebody else to do the, the back end marketing. And we've got We've got licensees who are ready to do that for you if, if you want to in, you know engage with somebody to do that part of the business. Yeah, and and you you've got great. I'll tell you what, ABS has some really really effective uh, tools uh, and helps in terms of even uh, how to you know advertise for sales reps and you know what to you know put out there and and you know, marketing strategies, uh, that are, I've used, I've used them all. I've used them all. And it, it, it's, it's really, uh, impressive what they give you. Yeah. I'm showing a couple of those tools here on the screen. Uh, these are books that we've actually written with Dr. Vicki Rackner. Um, my son wrote the one on the right. I wrote the one on the left, but either one uh, are great marketing tools because you can personalize these books with your own company name and uh, contact information right there in the book or on the book. Yeah, it's and amazing. it makes for a great giveaway, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. I've I've, I've utilized uh, these books and and the materials, and uh, I'm telling you, everything that ABS has. I mean, it, it is a. I mean, they give you. Uh, the value for what you pay is real because uh, when it comes to the, the even the marketing things, uh, they've thought of just about everything. And in working with the with the, the printer on the the uh, on these uh, brochures, uh, the folders, I mean, they're really, really great. Well, and then the first thing they do is give you, you know, first thing ABS does is give you give you that money right back in in a in a marketing budget where you can order these uh, you know customizable flyers that are really well done. I mean, really make you look uh, professional, and you know you don't have to try to come up with stuff on your own. Um, it's again. Um, the the value is 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 quite tremendous and even even the even the printer i've worked with they're you know really just really fine people and they respond quickly so yeah you're talking stuff. about uh yeah horton printing up in arkansas we 
you know, they, they are licensees, by the way. Horton Printing Company came down here and went through one of our live trainings when we were doing it live. Yeah. And uh, so they, they love us as well. But they also happen to be a, a huge commercial printer. And I thought, why not hook up with somebody who's one of our licensees to do the printing for other licensees? So that's why they do that for us. Yeah, no, that's, um, I, I didn't know that, but <clears throat> makes sense. Great to work with, though. Yeah, now, Dave, you've already answered one question here that we see, uh, and that is, do we have to find our own clients? Uh, Trivia is asking that question. Um, you know, we were talking about this earlier that you could, uh, you know, we could certainly offer uh to have clients for people, but it wouldn't be a $29,000 investment. It'd be, uh, you know, $100,000 or more uh, if we could figure out how to do that. Because if we could find the clients that are out there ready to sign up, we wouldn't even need, you know, people yeah. like yourself. So we just don't <laughs> compete with our licensees. We're not in the business of doing medical billing ourselves as a company. We're a support and training company, and that's what we're good at. So we'll just continue doing that for the next, uh, 28 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, I, I think that's so true. Um, this is how I would explain it to uh, anyone who, who wonders, and I guess and I would use this analogy. If you're wanting to build a uh, house, uh, a business, a, with ABS, uh, what they're going to give you is the most deluxe toolbox uh, you're ever going to see. It's, it'd be like walking into Home Depot and getting the, the deluxe uh, set of tools. I mean, they're going to give you every possible tool that you would ever use. Some you won't even probably use, uh, but they're going to give you the, the tools and then they're going to give you the, the blueprint for, you know, you want to build a big house, a small house or a medium house. And you're going to have the tools and the, the blueprint. The one, the one thing <clears throat> they're not going to do is uh, build the house for you. Uh, you won't be able to sit in your lawn chair while they, uh, you know, build the, the house for you by, you know, bringing, uh, you know, a book of business. Uh, that would be uh, worth a lot more than, than 100000 uh, Patrick. That would be you know, potentially worth millions, right? But I mean, if you're looking for that, then, you, you know, maybe you should, you know, find a business broker and try to uh, acquire somebody else's business because, uh, which is nearly impossible to do and you need, you know, $2 million to do it. So if you don't have $2 million laying around and you want to just go out and acquire somebody else's business, there's only one other way to do it. You got to take the tools, you got to take the 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 blueprints, and then you got to you got to get out there and build. Um, and you know, it's not easy to um, you know again, it's not easy to do that, and it's not a overnight thing. And what they're what I appreciate about you know ABS and even in the in the training, you know they. They, they show a lot of integrity in terms of setting expectations. And I can tell you now, as a, a new licensee who's just getting going, it's not a one conversation thing. I mean, maybe, you know, I haven't been so fortunate. Maybe you just show up, somebody falls into your arms because there's they're <laughs> so bad off. But the reality is it's going to take... Uh, you know, four or five conversations. Um, I'm I, the most valuable thing they teach you is that practice analysis tool. They they have the right approach, which is you're not going in hard and fast to try to sell something other than yourself. It's really, hey, let's sit down. Uh, you know, let's figure out where your you know inefficiencies are, where your pain points are abs gives you the 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 practice analysis and then you're able to go back and really put together a um a powerful you know proposal and and it, you know you need to go through a few of those uh practice analysis is honestly to get comfortable i mean the first time i did one 
you know, I was asking a few of the questions and I'm like, man, I'm not even sure exactly what I'm asking, but I'm just going to ask the question because it's on the sheet. I think I understand what's going on, but yeah, you know, it, it's, again, I could never have, have done any of this. There would be no business without ABS uh, support. Yeah, somebody was asking about the training. Uh, what is the time frame on how long the training process is? How, how long did it take you to get through it? Dave? So uh, for me, I did mine, uh, you know, remotely, uh, which I'm assuming is probably what you're still doing. Uh, I guess at one time you were doing it sort of all at once uh, on location. But for me, uh, it took uh, about six weeks uh, where I was... Um, had maybe two sessions a week and then there was some not a lot of of uh, homework follow-up but enough to get a, an intense amount of of training for an hour hour and a half then come back uh you know a couple of days later so you know i think i started my training um the first part of of May and uh, really finished up, I think, uh, you know, towards the middle end of June. Yeah. So you, you didn't actually start doing any kind of marketing then till September. The of summer or? Yeah, till September. And because uh, there were some family things uh, going on in August uh, that I really didn't get, I didn't really get going, I would say, until September, the 1st of September. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Like you said, Dave, that's been, uh, yeah, maybe four months, and you've already gotten three clients. That's good. Yeah, and we're, you know, one we're fully operational with. Yes, and one you're actually up and running and uh, see. Yeah, the, the one uh, we're and we'll have uh, the ENT practice uh, up and going uh, in in February as well. We're in the implementation process there. So, you know, again, um, you know, uh, you know, I I I thought that that would you know, kind of where I would hope we would be. Um, and I feel like we're off to a good start and we're figuring out what, what works both uh, from a, you know, sales and marketing standpoint, you know, what doesn't work so well. Um, and then, you know, really figuring out operationally, you know, what we're, what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a little time to get going. I tell people this, look, this is, this is not a gimmicky business. This is not a get, get rich quick fad type thing that comes and goes. So it's going to take you a little time to actually build a solid foundation of real, you know, revenue. Uh, that's one of the questions I see here from uh, Lou says, how much is, uh, is going to be the earning per client? Uh, I don't know how to even answer that question, except maybe just to show our website here. Uh, folks, if, you, if you've gone to our website, absystems.com, right up here under income potential, we have a medical billing uh, income calculator. And as you can see, it already has some numbers filled in. You can plug your own numbers in uh, based on uh, the averages that you see right here. Uh, and somebody charging only, what, 7%. Uh, that would earn you, as you can see, about uh, 182000 each year servicing five offices. So Dave, what do you think about these three that you have right here? Do you, do you think these three yeah, are going to I, I be think that, that the, again, the, um, the ABS model is um, accurate from what we can see. And, and here's the truth is they're not all the same. Um, not all, you know, practices, uh, not all specialties are the same. And we're seeing, you know, there's a, uh, a difference in the pricing between an OBGYN, an ENT, and a neurologist. So, uh, you know, but the, I mean, uh, look, the margins are, and I can say this because I've been in business a long time, the margins are excellent. 
and you don't have all the it's not even so much the uh what's the the revenue it's you know what is the you know cost of goods sold what's the overhead how much of that money are you keeping right. and you know uh, that's that's the right question you know yeah if you're if you're, if you're you know if your revenue is 10 million dollars but it costs you 9.8 million to uh to get it um that's a you know obviously um not a great business so it, it really is the you know the margins i mean and that's that's the beauty of it i mean uh, once you're once you've gone through the work of of getting that client to trust you and you get them on board and you're operating it is you know whatever that is you know five to eight percent whatever you know you you need to to do to get in the door but that's what you're doing man you're making money on every every claim you touch that right. gets paid right yeah and if you're doing the work yourself uh then really you don't have any costs uh behind it's the scenes you're not paying yeah, somebody no, to do it yeah exactly they, yeah. that's one of the questions here uh, is do you have any employees uh Nas nasia says david do you have any employees hired or are you is it just you and your family um, I do have a couple of employees uh, that I uh, hired uh, that are, um, you know, my son is one of my employees. And then I have uh, another uh, employee uh, who was a family friend, basically, that's also helping on the operation now with, with three, uh, the three accounts that we have. And um, I am utilizing another person um, to help me with, uh, you know, the sales side of it and kind of in a, uh, the sales rep using the sales rep model that ABS has. So I have one, you know, rep, and then I have um, a couple of uh, employees that are, I'm, you know, paying uh, that are, you know, uh, actual employees yeah all right and so uh one of the questions here was from trivia was do you do you need additional income to continue to feed into the business are you spending extra money for marketing or other things yeah that's a great uh, a great question and i would answer it this way clearly with the ABS model, you would not have to spend additional uh, resources. But in all fairness, I have put in uh, some money of my own uh, to, and that's mostly in some of the marketing and, uh, you know, paying the, the sales rep to do some of the work. So um, I have uh, chosen to do that. But I don't think you would have to do that. Um, I would definitely, if, um, you know, recommend that if, um, you know, it's a situation, and I, I think everybody's different, right? But if you were uh, in a situation where money was um, tight, right, you don't, or maybe you don't have a lot of um, savings and, you know, you're, you know, tight, you might want to, you know, consider, you know, additional, you know, income until you kind of get the thing really rolling and going. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say if you're, you know, in a, in a financially strapped situation that you just, um, you know, quit that job and go right into, you know, ABS, because it, it, it'll, it'll take you um, a little time, you know, for you to get you know, where that income is, is, is rolling in. So not a, Hey, I mean, we've all looked at, there are some businesses you can get into where it's like a year, you know, you don't really get going until you, you know, a year down the road. Yeah. And that's not the case uh, at ABS, but, you know, I wouldn't want to, you know, be responsible for, 
fooling somebody and saying, Hey, you know what, man, you, you're going to go out in the first month and you're just going to be, you know, crushing it and, and bringing in all the money uh, because you're going to be like, um, that, that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, realistically, it's maybe true. good, but I don't see how, uh, you know, you have to, like any good business, you're going to have to be willing to sacrifice a little bit for it. Yeah, there's a lot of businesses that uh, even at two years, they haven't seen any uh, black ink. You know, they're still in the red. They're still in the hole. They haven't returned uh, their investment. I've had licensees tell me that within six months, they've seen a return on their investment in this well, I, business. I absolutely believe that. Yeah. Uh, Afia wants to know, how long does it take to file one claim? Hey, well, that's, that's a, a great, um, uh, I think another great question. And I would say it this way. <laughs> the first time uh, isn't going to be the fastest time. And uh, the other piece that I have now come to, here's, here's a little tip for you when you're out selling. Uh, the difference um, between a fully integrated practice management and EHR system and one that is a practice management uh, only that's trying to work with uh, their EHR is going to be sub substantially longer and it's not as uh, fluent. And I'm, I'm speaking experientially. Here's, the, here's my experience. With the OBGYN, uh, and it was my first one, and I wasn't, he was a little, uh, you know, I don't want the disruption. I'm already, it's kind of chaotic. So let's just do the, the practice management piece, and then we'll do the EHR part later. And I was, you know, like, I just want to get a, a client. So I didn't really push for the fully integrated now I'm I'm it's I'm going back and we're pushing for that because we're trying to work with the next gen PM and their old EHR and it's it just doesn't um, which we can we can do right and we're billing for them but it's the amount of time it takes uh, compared to the ENT which is a fully integrated practice management EHR. It is, I mean, it is slick. Um, and when those things are working together, the amount of time it takes uh, for you to file a claim is twice as fast. So you're like, well, what are you saying, Dave? What I'm saying is, yeah, you want to push for um, a fully integrated practice management and EHR because it'll make a huge difference to you on how quickly you're able to file a claim. And again, I don't know. I mean, it's like anything. The first few times you do it, it's not going to be your fastest time. You're more concerned with, you know, being accurate. But I can see even now we're getting faster. We're getting more familiar with the workflow. And so I expect that to increase. So hopefully that helps answer your question. That's kind of a long answer to a short question, which is how long does it take to file a claim? Well, it really does. Uh, depends. It depends whether it's fully integrated and it depends on how much experience do you have? Maybe there's somebody who's already been a biller that'd be three times as fast as we are, right? But I mean, we're, we're coming from nowhere. Yeah, I've talked to licensees who said that after they got it down, after they did a few dozen claims, they knew what they were doing. They could go in and do a claim in, you know, two minutes. But that's once you know the system, you know, and you have to understand that that's just a learning curve. Yep. Uh, let's see. Here's one from uh, Trivia says, how many people do you have on your team working with you? Yeah, so great. So right now we have three three accounts. So I have uh, basically two people, myself, 
uh, and there's two people uh, on the operations uh, side, and then I have uh, somebody else helping me uh, with the sales side. So I guess uh, we're a team of of four, or I would say maybe three and a half. Yeah. And, you know, you wouldn't, you know, I can see where, again, this is the great thing about ABS is I, I can see where if you were, uh, you know, husband and wife or, you, you know, you and somebody else, you and your son, and you just wanted to have a couple of accounts, um, you know, you could get by on two people, you know what I mean? But, you know, for me, uh, you know, I'd like to, uh, you know, you know, build it uh, to be a little bigger than that. And so, you know, I'm willing to personally sacrifice, you know, um, sort of short term getting, you know, paid a lot for, you know, building something that is going to have a greater value in the future, but that just happens to be where I'm at personally in my family situation. But, you know, it's, um, like I said, man, when you're in, it is awesome. It's awesome <laughs> because you're doing something fulfilling. And, you know, uh, when you start to see the, the revenue come in, it's awesome. I mean, yeah. I, I love what we do. I mean, we make a difference and I'm, I'm already seeing that. That's the thing. I think you've got to have the conviction that yes, what you're doing uh, makes a difference and it does. And it makes a difference. And um, if you don't really believe that you're going to have a hard time selling it to, to, you know, a doctor who's like, Hey, should I hand over, you know, my, my my livelihood to somebody who's doesn't really believe in it right yeah you have to believe in it yourself but you're right dave once you start helping doctors in your community thrive and uh stay in private practice uh and not have to go to work for a hospital or a big group somewhere they love you and they'll refer you to other doctors as well. You'll see yeah, that. And coming. that's what we're hoping to do. I mean, that's all I can say. It is awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. But it is not easy. I guess that's a, yeah. you know, uh, if that was, the, if only, if you only heard me say two things, that would be it. It's awesome. Yeah. But it's not easy either. Right. Yeah. It's well, easy in one sense, but you got to be committed to it. I guess I should say that uh, it's not that it's so hard, but it, you have to be committed to it. That's probably the more appropriate thing to say. Yeah. All right. One of the questions here is, and uh, Nasha says, uh, do we need to be certified as coders? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, you don't, uh, because this is where, you know, next gen um, comes in. This is where code right um, comes in. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's right there. You can see on the screen. So, um, you know, I'll go back to what I, I said in the beginning. You know, uh, I'm the most unremarkable guy on the planet that knew nothing about revenue cycle management. So, um, thankfully, you don't have to be the uh, the coding expert. Although I can see where definitely if you had somebody on your team who was proficient in that, um, that would be super helpful. But no, and of course, necessary. and as you know, Dave, we we have certified medical coders that are ready to help our licensees through Code Right. Uh, and working directly with them uh, on doctors' questions so they don't have to be a coder. Uh, a lot of people think you have to go train to be a medical coder. That, that could take you two years in college, you know. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. so thankfully, you don't have to know that because all the codes are built into our, they're built into our cloud-based system. Yep. 
Yep. Robert yeah. says, Dave, yeah. uh, have you experienced an unwillingness from the providers for them to answer the practice analysis? How did you overcome that? Yeah, uh, for sure. And, you know, they go through this in the training and, and you have to be very sensitive to, you know, especially the practice manager, because they're going to be pretty defensive about uh, their own job and uh, nobody uh, wants to admit, hey, I'm not doing a very good job here. Uh, so you have to be, you know, that's where the, you know, building that trust, you know, really comes in to be the most valuable piece, right? And that can be either through your, you know, continuing uh, discussion with them as, as I've had, or it could be that somebody that you know, that they know, uh, you know, you get that referral that gives you some of that credibility. And, um, you know, it's, you know, I, you know, it, it's, so helpful to have that ABS gives you that template and you can take it in. Uh, you know, I'm an, an old school kind of guy and I take mine in and do them paper, but you can do it through, you can bring your laptop in and, you know, it's, um, you know, the first time I did it, you know, it was a little intimidating, you know, but it's like anything else. You get through it a few times and, you know, you kind of know what to look for, but it's, you know, back to your question about, you know, is it, do you get some resistance? Uh, I don't know if resistance is the right way, but there is some apprehension at first and they're kind of wondering, well, what, what's your real motive? And if they don't really think that you truly have their best interest, you know, they're not going to, you know, they're not going to give you the time of day or sit down with you. And even when you sit down uh, with them, you know, sometimes they don't, it's amazing, you know, you would think some of the most important pieces of information they don't even know, which is crazy. To me. I started to say, uh, do you, I, I mean, a lot of licensees tell me that they, they do these with the office manager because they, they have the information the doctor doesn't, you know. Yeah. And sometimes neither one of them has it. <laughs> they couldn't right. tell you, you know, what they're, denial rate is, uh, or, you know, even what their AR is. Yeah. Um, no, they're flying you know, blind. Yeah. Flying blind. And that's where, that's a real opportunity as it was for us to be yeah. able to come in and say, Hey, you know what? We, we can help you here. We can give you, uh, the data you need. Okay, Dave, I've just got a few minutes left here. I'm going to wrap it up with this last question here from Jayanta. She says, if the practices are sticky, then how do you convince them to switch to you as a biller? Or hey, that's it, a great, yeah. that is a great question. And it is having, you have to be, and this is where the practice analysis and the work that ABS has already done to be able to go back with a compelling reason financially for them um, to do it. And, you know, it, you, you know, that's a great question because the flip side of it being sticky is uh, it's not easy for somebody else to come in. It's not easy for you to come in. And right. uh, the other thing that you will run into that I'm running into often now is these physicians really do care about their employees and they're afraid of they don't want to eliminate them um, it's not a situation where you have some of these large corporations right that they'll just slash 20 percent of their workforce and not even blink you know these are physicians who care about their people and so you have to really um, talk to them about redeploying their workforce and other areas that can help the workflow. Um, because if you go in and it's like, hey man, which is which is true. It's like if you actually were functioning at a high level and your workflow is right, you could get rid of two or three people. But they don't necessarily want to hear that. Right. Because they care about those people. And so it's really talking about, hey, 
this is the money you're going to save and the, you know, getting the, the rejection rate, the denial rate way down through next gen is a real thing. And, you know, you'll be able to utilize your people in some other places and give them that option. It's a much, uh, uh, you know, uh, a, a far better way to approach it with them. Yeah, the doctors would rather utilize their people to uh, help them see more patients. I mean, that's that's where they make their income, right? The more patients yeah, they can absolutely. see. So if they've got people to help with that, rather than focused on the billing there in their office, it's much better for them. We're working all the denials. Yeah. You know. so, well, Dave, thank you so much for your time. Didn't that hour go by fast? I told you. <laughs> hey, man. Well, I'm uh, I'm happy to talk about uh, this business. Um, I, I love it. I love it. I'm, you know, uh, thankful for uh, ABS. Uh, I could never have done it. Couldn't be doing this now uh, without you. So thank you, uh, Patrick. Your, your whole team um, has been uh, phenomenal. Uh, you know, your training, getting the training from Cynthia, then, you know, you know, the support um, that we've continually received uh, has been phenomenal. Well, thank you, Dave. And I'm, I'm just appreciative of people like yourself who uh, see our vision, who take this opportunity and run with it as you have. And you've been very successful so far. I can't wait to interview you uh, another year from now. And let's see uh, how big you've grown from three clients. Uh, well, we're going, we're going for it, Patrick. <laughs> I'll tell you that we're definitely going for it. I believe it. Hey, and somewhere down the line, maybe you can do some of our webinars teaching other people uh, how you've been so successful. That'd be great. Well, like I said, if anything, Patrick, I would be a great example of, uh, again, a, uh, what someone with no uh, RCM experience uh, and isn't uh, particularly great at anything um, can, could do. Well, you've proven it already to me. So that's all that counts is that you've actually got out there and done it. And uh, that's, that's worth a lot. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate your yeah. time. Hey, you can just, uh, I guess, leave the meeting or turn off your camera and mic there. Okay. I'm yeah, just going to wrap uh, up with a few will, more slides. Uh, I'll let you wrap it up here. I'll uh, yeah, uh, get, get off there. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Uh, folks, let's talk about uh, support. They mentioned several times that we have support. This is one of our support teams out in California at the NextGen offices. As you can see, we have a, a large team of people who can support you in whatever it is that you need. Once you get into the business, we have a lifetime support. You never have to pay for anything else uh, for support or training ongoing. It's all included in that one-time licensing fee. So, uh, let's talk about our money back guarantee because a lot of people don't realize that there's not any other business that I know of. I mean, again, I, I don't know everything that's going on out there, folks, but in the franchise world, I can tell you it's unheard of to offer any kind of money back guarantee because, well, they're afraid that you might uh, go through their training and, and decide that you didn't like it and, and then that you're going to get your money back. With us, we would rather you do that than stay with us. We'd rather you go on and find something that suits your lifestyle better if there's anything about the training or the business that you don't like, you simply ask for your money back. And that's a pretty big deal. Ask any other company that you're talking to about getting into this business and training you if they have a money back guarantee. You can ask your ABS rep a little bit more about that as well. By the way, there's the email address and the phone number that you can call and ask, uh, who is my rep? And uh, we want you to do these six things. Look up uh, uh, look over our downloadable uh, research guide. Now that's something that you'll have to ask your ABS rep for. So if you don't know who that is, email us or call us and just say, who is that uh, person that can give me the research guide? This is a 60 page PDF document that has more information than even our website and our virtual brochure has. So be sure and get that. Browse our YouTube channel. We have a channel out there. It has been out there for several years, youtube.com slash YABS and you'll see some of the interviews that I've done with people like Dave. And then ask your ABS rep for an owner reference list. Yes, we have a list of people who, like Dave, I think he's on the list, that can uh, accept your calls and ask you uh, answer your questions direct. These are people who've gone through our training, they've invested the money, the time, they've gone out there, they've built their business, and now they're ready to uh, answer your questions. 
ask for a live demo of our iClaim EMRX platform. If you haven't seen that for yourself, folks, we'll get online with you one-on-one, -on -one, just like we're doing today through this uh, webinar, except it'll be just you and, and one of our people here at the office that'll guide you through that and show you exactly how leading edge that technology is. Then review the purchase agreement and the funding instructions, and then send in the agreement and your funding and schedule your training. That's how simple it is to get started. You can do all this in the first week. After getting your funding to us, we'll schedule your training with your instructor around your schedule. There are 10 modules that you'll go through each about an hour and a half. And uh, that's what we call our initial live virtual training. Once you've gone through that, you get your certification and then you can get access to our live uh, licensee support website, which has a lot more stuff on there that you don't see right, uh, right now because you don't have access to it. But uh, it's a huge uh, site. Let me see if I can throw that up here on the screen and share that with you. I think this is being shared now. Yeah, so this is our support site live. I've got it live here. I just wanted to show you that if you go to the homepage, of course, you're gonna see some of the things we've just recently posted. But on the right here, you'll see all of the previous months and years that we've archived all the information that's out there. Folks, there are hundreds of hours of videos, documents, webinars, and things out there. Uh, we've got all kinds of, all the services broken down, marketing, tools, resources. Uh, it's, it's a very complete uh, site that's just for our licensees. You'll be given a login to that uh, once you've signed up with us. So again, folks, I'm gonna go back to, uh, let's see, I have to stop sharing that and then throw that slide back up there so you can uh, have that on the screen. And I'll wrap it up today. Thank you for registering for uh, next week's webinar. If you go to our website up in the upper right-hand corner, you can register for next week's webinar and go ahead and get your seat reserved for that. Otherwise, I hope I see that you've signed up somewhere here soon with us after you do your due diligence and that you're ready to uh, get involved with us. Folks, it's a great business to be in, but uh, only people who've been through it like Dave can tell you the facts about it. So be sure and ask for that uh, reference list and, and call them and ask them yourself. Hope I see you next week at the webinar. And if not, uh, on one of our trainings that are coming up soon. Bye for now.